Hello and welcome to HCS Connects. I'm Kelly Gorrell with Hampton City Schools. Today we have Kelly D with us who is our curriculum leader for our visual and performing arts department. So welcome to HCS Connects. Thank you. And it's not a new welcome. You are a regular guest each year and we are so excited to have you every year because there's a lot going on in visual and performing arts that we just need to catch up on. So tell us, uh, Mr. D, what has occurred this fall so far? We're going into the second nine weeks for this 23-24 school year. So tell us something really exciting that has happened within our schools already. One of the exciting things was bringing in the Full Sail Mobile Experience from Full Sail University. This was an 18-wheeler truck that came around to our high schools uh, each day and visited. And uh, they, students had the opportunity to look at careers in the uh, visual arts specifically, a little bit of performing arts and electronic music and audio engineering. Um, so students got that unique opportunity. We've been working on that for about a year and that all came together this fall. Well, and I had the opportunity to see some photographs that were taken from the different um, stops at our schools and some video and that is quite impressive. Like just everything that's in that 18 wheeler in regards to equipment. Um, they had hands-on experiences. I mean, really tell us a little bit about some of the things that they did with in that 18 wheeler. It is 21st century learning inside of this 18 wheeler truck that travels around the country to different school systems. Uh, one was audio engineering. Okay. Another one was uh, virtual reality and esports as well. So opportunities that they provide at Full Sail University that our students might be interested in uh, either there or at an another uh, college in our state. Very cool. So that was at all four of our high schools, but then our high schools performed in the Warrior Classic. So now we're moving on to a competition. Tell us about the Warrior Classic. Warrior Classic has been going on for 32 years. Oh, wow. In, in Hampton City Schools. Uh, it is one of our longest running traditions. It was an amazing event with uh, 22 uh, bands to include our bands uh, performing for their hometown crowds. Uh, we invited fifth graders and eighth graders and their families to come out and, and enjoy that for free. Uh, it's a major fundraiser, and the, the Kick It In High School band boosters and parents do a fantastic job, as well as Mr. Conti, the band director. So when you said there were over 20 bands that participated, are those local bands just from our region? Is it outside of our region? What does that look like? It's primarily inside of our region. Uh, some come down from Northern Virginia. It's a, it's a great event because it's the end of the marching band season, and it's it has a hometown feel for it. We have uh, uh, students that have been on the field over the last 32 years, teaching bands or judging bands oh, at wow. that event. So that's how long running it has been. So how does that work in regards to, since it's a competition, mm -hmm. is there like a first, second, and third place, or, or how does that work? It, there is, uh, there are uh, classifications, so 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, and 5A. Just like sports, exactly. pretty much, because it's the size of your band. Exactly. Okay. And then there's an overall grand champion in each uh, class, and a first and second place for things like color guard and drum major and drum oh, wow. line. Did any of our bands place anywhere? Oh yeah, absolutely. Hampton High School took second place uh, in their classification and a first place in drumline, first place in visual, and first place in drum major. So we're really proud of them. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So we we have the the marching bands, but they've been that started, you know, this summer. They they really do start what like August time frame or even not earlier, probably like August first they begin, mm -hmm. so that they're getting ready for that that season. So what a way to to finish the season with such a great event, a long-standing event. And that takes place right here in Hampton at Darling Stadium, correct? Absolutely, every year. Awesome. So again, we've had Full Sail, then we had the Warrior Classic. There's a little bit going on in regards to theater and drama as well. So we've Absolutely. had some schools participating in com competitions, I think, throughout the Commonwealth I've seen. Yes. Kilgore did really well this fall. We're really proud of all their students and their teachers and all the effort they put in. So I've seen that they've won some awards. I can't remember exactly what they are off the top of my head, but they've won a couple. I keep seeing pictures popping up that we're sharing as well. Um, so again, they're doing a great job over there. And we're really getting near the holiday season at this point. It's hard to believe that Thanksgiving is maybe two weeks away mm -hmm. at best. So, you know, I know there's a mayor's card. Tell us about the mayor's holiday card. The mayor's holiday card is another long running tradition in the city of Hampton. Uh, our uh, art students provide uh, cards in a, a kind of competition to the mayor for his selection uh, to be sent out uh, locally, regionally, and statewide. And uh, that, uh, that ceremony will occur in December. Students and families will be notified before then. But we also have a video of all of those and we add to that video now for over 20 years of cards. So this is the, the, 
the mayor for the city of Hampton, and we run the competitions within our school, so it's just Hampton City School students, correct? Mm -hmm. um, and he selects, or his committee, however that happens, he selects what his holiday card is, and he's sending out, like you said, to whoever's on his holiday list. Yes, absolutely. It's a high honor for the students. And is it at a specific grade level or what does that, I mean, who's participating? We have our high school students participating. Okay. Well, and their, their art is amazing. Um, oh my goodness. The elementary and the middle school students art is amazing. They do better than, much better than I right. can do. That's he has for a sure. great selection this year to choose from too. Yeah. He so. would never select Kelly Gorrell's art. <laughs> so I'm glad that we've got such talented students. So we've got the holiday card. There's a, there's a tradition that's coming back that has not been around for a while since I think pre-COVID, um, and that's that holiday parade. Yes. What do you know about the holiday parade? The holidays parade is returning. We're really happy to and be it's part Holly of it. Holidays. Holidays okay. parade uh, in downtown Hampton, and all four high school bands will be participating. Do you know when that is by any chance? December 9th. Okay, so it's a Saturday. Yes. And it's for anybody in the community to come out. I'm sure there's a lot of our schools that are, will be participating with floats or groups marching, but we do know that all four of our high school bands will be participating as well. Yes. Well, that's an exciting, we'll have to make sure we come out on December 9th. So, and then also around the holidays, I know many of the schools, if not all, have some sort of holiday concert. Tell us about our holiday series here in Hampton City Schools. We're going to continue our winter concert series and our opportunity to invite all community members into the schools in their community or across the city. Uh, we have concerts uh, starting right after Thanksgiving on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Uh, generally, elementaries are on Mondays, middle schools are on Tuesdays, and high schools are on Thursdays. And that entire schedule, once we finalized it, uh, will be posted to the entire community on all our social media. Do you attend everyone? We do our very best. <laughs> I was we do say, our very best. We've got 32 schools and centers. Right. That's a lot of holiday concerts there to support. Are there are a few of us. There's and a few of you and you try to kind of divide and conquer. Absolutely. And it's a fantastic time to come out and see students achieve and uh, families enjoy their children's achievements and talents. So, and again, those concerts are open to the community. Mm -hmm. So anyone can come out, enjoy one, two, even three, or if they want to do all 32 like you, um, or your team, not necessarily mm -hmm. you. But we do market that by putting it on Hampton City Schools website with a schedule. We put that out on social media. It'll be part of our email extra. So that's coming soon. Yes, very soon. We'll have that published before Thanksgiving. Excellent. So that's a lot that we've either accomplished already just in the first nine weeks of school, gearing up for the holidays. Anything else that you can think of that you'd like to share as we wrap up? No, uh, just I, I, we invite the community to come out in, into our schools and see the great things that are going on with the young people, not only in the visual and forming arts, but everything we're doing. Well, and I do really love, because we always say that we're one community, one transformation. Um, that really has been the tagline for this year going in, because we truly know that we can't do this work without our community partners being at, you know, our business, our nonprofit, our faith-based, our military. So we do have a lot of community support. But what I really like is that we invite them into our schools to enjoy themselves and watch the successes of our students and our teachers. So that just really warms my heart that it's not just there for the parents of the students that are participating, but truly come out. You know, we, we market it, we've got it there for you, the schedule, take a look. We would love for you to come out and enjoy, you know, everything that our kids have learned and what their, their performances. I agree completely. Well, thank you for being here today and kind thank of you. giving us just a brief of what's going on in regards to the visual and performing arts in Hampton City Schools. And I'm sure there's much more that will happen in the spring as well, but just to kind of focus on where we've been since September or really August since our band started back in August and where we will end up before the new year. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on HCS Connects. Remember, it's easy to stay connected.